Welcome to our seventh short tips and tricks webinar on Tuesday, the 16th of June, 2020. My name is Sebastian Wode, and as always, I would like to welcome all participants from all over the world, as well as my colleagues, Claudius and Dirk, from our service office in Bautzen and from home office. As always, the colleagues are ready to answer all your questions directly. But how does that work? No matter which device you use, you will find the possibility to send us questions in the webinar tool, which we will answer directly back to you. Important, we do not communicate with you publicly, but only privately. Of course, we will stay after the webinar until we have answered all your questions. We will then only switch off the microphones, but will still be available via chat and question window. The webinar will also be recorded and, as always, uploaded on different platforms. These include our help page, help.orgadata.com, and our YouTube and Vimeo channel. After the last episode of the Tips and Tricks webinar started on the 2nd of June, we decided very quickly to continue with it. And your obvious interest, I see here, confirms this idea. Many, many thanks at this point for this. After we did with, with the first step in the calculation last time, the German federal government has decided to temporarily reduce the VAT rates of the 1st of July. And if you yeah, work with, with uh, German customers, this is also important for you. So if you also write with the logical uh, your offers and other things, the question arises, of course, how this can be taken into account in logical. And this is exactly why we want to start with it today in the second part about the calculation. Basically, all your uh, basics for the estimation can be found as we, as we discussed before here in the estimation data. This change of the VAT rate is only temporary, so it makes sense for you to simply only copy here your estimation data sets and uh, we give it the same name and then we the right so I write it right so and now we add here VAT 16 percent. So then you only have you could then only make a double click here change it and then you can save it and after that you can use it for every new project and the important thing here is if you did not need it anymore after in the next year or so you can simply delete it from here because for the for the projects these data are transferred in the project estimation data so from this on, you use it for use this one for every new project. But what to do if you already started a project? Then you can take here a look in the project estimation data. You can simply edit here the value at text, or you reload very easy the estimation data here, and then the VAT rate is on 16% here. Okay, I think with this chart, tips and tricks, this is absolutely no problem for you. But before you can add these taxes, you need the right net price. And this has to be determined correctly. And for this, we take here a look on the second page of the project estimation data. The most suppliers whose data are maintained here in Logical, the articles are summarized in so-called discount groups. But why? This serves an overview and offers you the possibility that you not uh, that you not have to uh, all the articles have to be maintained individually in the terms of price by you. Therefore, the uh, the list prices are maintained by us and made available to you by the normal data updates. 
then you only negotiate the discounts for the individual discount groups with your supplier and with this you receive your individual article price so it is very very much easier for you the special discount you can add here as an example 45 percent in addition to this normal discount you have here some more exciting possibilities at first the factor if the list price which is included in logical does not suit for you for various reasons because you you simply have higher costs or so then you can add here in factor as an example too with this the double price the double list price here is assumed but please note only the pr price is duplicated and not the ordered material here one of the part of the calculation that you can never really predict very very good is the profit often also called risk and profit every project involves a certain risk for you and you usually let this risk, risk pay for itself now however there are some articles in certain price categories that carry a higher risk as an i think a good example are here always electronic components it does not work as you expected and uh, you drive to the construction site a few times more than you calculated and so on and so on not good exactly for such articles you need more profit buffer and this you can enter here <clears throat> finally you will find also the object discount here or the the so-called job discount large projects also mean large quantities of material that you have to order and so on often large quantities of the same articles and it can be worthwhile to negotiate a special discount with your supplier for this project and exactly this can be can be considered here you take also an example five percent so by the way we're, when we're here with the keyword object discount everything that you enter here is especially for the project but you can of course enter it also globally then you could do it one time and use it in every project it is good for the normal discount and yeah for for the normal profit and so and if you have a special job discount you do it the best way here in the project estimation data so i think now we can determine the prices from the discount groups that is not a problem but how does it look like when you need special prices for really special articles of course therefore we have here in special area where you can enter some new entries here you can add here the article number of different articles and then add in special discount or in special net net price i take here an hint and with the right color and then we can add a special net price or in special discount of an example 50 percent watch out here the discount only repra replaces the normal discount and the project discount the factor and the special profit for the price class will still be also considered. When you close it, also this is easily solved. So when we're here, let's make a small step back, back to this. There you have much more exciting possibilities for you. The prices per kilogram and per cubic meter. For certain discount groups, suppliers offer the option of not only including the discounts to the list prices, but rather that prices per weight or per volume are negotiated there and this could take into account here. A good example here is the discount group Vicona W1. <clears throat> when you see this button is active, then you can put it on the right side and then you can add here the prices per kilogram and also with a special price scale 
year. From 150 kilogram, it is only four euro. And if your supplier says that he needs some money for the for special rolled profiles, then you can add here some additional prices per meter for that. So the same you can do also with the prices per, per, per volume and so everything is possible here. The last point here is only the thing that you can also add special prices, discounts and extra prices here for, for the glazing. So, but it's the same way you do it for the discount group. So I don't want to show it here again. I think that's that's very easy and that means that absolutely nothing is left by the wayside when it comes when you want to have the correct calculation of your project costs here. And if you're wondering why the list of uh, the discount groups is here so short, the project estimation data of course, only the needed points are showed here. If you look in the global estimation data, then you see everything which is in your logical. So I, now I talked uh, a lot about these, these special discount groups and I can well imagine that the question arises how to find out the easiest way to see which discount groups and which, uh, includes which articles and which articles refer to which discount group. I know before that it is very easy, but I find a way where Surely I have to admit that I was surprised by myself that it is so easy. For this we close this window here and everybody of you knows here the easiest way to get an overview which articles are in your position here. And everybody of you knows I think also that you can make a double click on the profiles and so on to change it, to get directly in the input of the element to um, yeah, change the sash or the base profiles and so on. The other way is that you make a right click and get some additional article numbers here. You get the article number, the, the information about the article type and the information about the discount groups. And by the way, also the list price and the direct link to the digital catalog of the supplier. So I think also this very easy. So with the whole settings you do, Logical takes over the estimation for you. Based on all these settings, and I think this should not be a secret, and therefore you have a very, very good report here, the estimation report. We take very fast a look on it, and do not be frightened by the length, because as every project, you have the flexibility to choose what you want to have displayed and how exactly. In this case, I want to show you everything that Logical could show you here. The report starts with the profiles, of the right prices, and the prices which are marked with a small asterisk, they are all already calculated, including the color at this point. The whole thing continues with the glazing beads, accessories, hardware, and so on. Nothing special, really. But then we come to a very good point. Logical is well known for the fact that you can combine articles from, from many, many different suppliers. In a in large project, you can, yeah, I think you can lose the track of how the costs are divided between the different suppliers and the different discount groups. A special especially if you renegotiate about an extra object discount and so on for single discount groups, it can be important that you know how much money you spend for the different discount groups. And here you have a great overview. Here only for this position, but when we jump to the end of the report, then you have it also for the whole project. So in great overview, and yeah, when you when you look on it here, then you see also different, many, many different informations, all you need here. I won't go into the individual points now, but I would at least show you two things. One thing 
is here the profit on the material. This is the special profit which we made before in the estimation data, the 10% on the articles in one, in one discount group here. The other thing, you see it at the end. It is a thing which I used very, very often. It's the calculation price per square meter. With this, you can control very good if, the, if it is right. I know that you could not calculate very, very, very detailed with only the, the square meters of this position, but everybody of you knows uh, the, the roughly, the roughly um, price per square meter. And if it is here, more thousand euros to high or thousand euros to, to low, then you can check again for the safety. Nothing is worse than giving away a price that is much too, too high or much too low, isn't it? Okay, at this point, I think we talked very much about the estimation here. And at this point, we come to a special extra point here. Every day, we further develop logical for you with special new functions that you get also every time the needed information we also bring our help page forward. And in order to keep the overview, we, we redesigned the page for you. Everybody of you knows with the press on the F1 button, you can go directly here on the help page. So therefore we have here a special new part, the support part, and there you can find very, very nice things. It starts here with a downloads. That, that's not new, you can find it in the, in the manual, but here it is put it together because you can find some really nice report templates, you can find some import templates if you have some special prices or additional articles and so on. These are Excel files which you can make, which, which a, a supplier can make, give you and you can import it very easy to Logical. The second point here, are the system requirements. You get here a very good overview Yeah, the, for the system requirements for your computer hardware, also in different network settings here. The last point I want to show you is here the point data service. These are great informa information about our colleagues at the data service in Wuppertal. They make I think almost everything possible for you in the area of special supplier data and reports and logical. You should definitely take a look on it here. And I think that's really great. So if you need special things, special reports, special data, everything which is only for you and which only you need, then contact our colleagues or contact me and we will try to make it possible for you. So at this point, I look on the hour, we are, the 20 minutes are almost over again here. But shortly before the end, I would still like to give you a short preview of the next time, as usual. The next time should be about the possibility of how you can link elements from Logical in your CAD drawings without losing anything in terms of process reliability and so on. And this is not only for the logical CAD, but also for Autodesk products. Be curious for that. And if you haven't done it yet, register directly via our homepage. Finally, here, the usual final note. If you have further interest, you can simply participate in the following survey and we will get back to you soon. So let's rock the week together. At this point, stay healthy. Thank you. Bye. Until then, see you.